Hey, this is AJ. Welcome back to the Handyman Process. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to create estimates using HomeWise and how to take that HomeWise data, bring it into Marquette to make your estimating uh, process very smooth. So stay tuned. So this video is, is really for new or part-time handyman folks that are struggling with, with creating estimates, coming up with prices, descriptions, and whatnot. So I'm going to introduce you to a software or a website uh, called HomeWise. You'll see on the screen here behind me. And then how I use HomeWise, I take that, that data and then import it into my CRM, um, my customer relations management system that I use, Marquette, to um, basically give me a drop-down box whenever I'm creating estimates. So if you're a new handyman or handy woman, a lot of people struggle with, well, what does it cost? What should I charge? Uh, it's difficult, when you, especially when you're first starting off. After you have some time um, behind you, it gets a little bit easier. It's a little bit smoother. But if I'm brand new and I'm, and if I could kind of go back in time and learn what I already know right now, this is what I do and what I would do. So I'm going to kind of walk you through how to use it, why I use it, and then show you how I bring it into Marquette. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to bring my screen down a little bit smaller here just so uh, it's easier for me to kind of show what's going on. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to HomeWise, right? HomeWise.com. Uh, it's spelled with a Y, Home, W-Y-S-E. Just go there. When you go there, you come to this, this home screen. And really what you want to focus on are these two areas here, the installation estimates and the maintenance costs. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through a couple of examples, tell you how to use them, how to extract them. And I want you to think about this from the perspective of the jobs that you typically do or the jobs that you want to do. So don't be overwhelmed by everything that's in here. Think about, let's just think about three things that you wanna, um, services that you wanna offer, and we'll walk through an example with that. So I'll come up with three services. I'll come up with uh, two installation services and then one maintenance service. Uh, so starting with the installation services, when you come here, it's gonna kinda categorize all of the different um, areas of, of installation that you could possibly be involved with, right? So you're gonna have to kind of click through these things. If you click appliances, it'll talk about the different appliances that you can install. If you talk about flooring, so on and so on. Uh, the example I'm gonna give, since I do a lot of uh, electrical work, is I'll click on this finish electrical. And when I click on this finish electrical, you're gonna see all these different options, you know, an outlet, a baseboard heater, a doorbell, kind of goes on and on and on. One thing that I do fairly um, often, um, is installing bathroom uh, ceiling fans. So if I come here to the second option here, the install bathroom fan, what's gonna pop up is what HomeWise believes to be um, the cost associated and the time associated with installing a bathroom fan. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what you're looking at here. Uh, the first thing that it normally has with installation is the cost for that particular item. So it's something you need to think about is the homeowner providing this or are you as the handyman gonna provide this? You need to work this out with your homeowner uh, previous. But let's just, let's just assume most homeowners will go and get their own bathroom fan. So I'm gonna uncheck that. And as I'm unchecking things, you'll notice down here in the bottom, the range of the estimate is changing. Um, so it went from uh, you know, possibly 734 down to 516. And we'll get into what this range means in a minute. Uh, the second thing I wanna focus on is the zip code that you possibly work in. Uh, so I'm down in Texas, I work in a zip code, uh, 78154, uh, and I'm only looking at one fan, so it's giving me data for that. If I were to, uh, let, let's use Beverly Hills 90210, 90210, and I was to update this, I would expect the prices to go up, and they do. Uh, so take a look at that. Um, make sure you have your right zip code in. I'll go back to where I am uh, and update that information. Uh, so that's point two, is make sure you're working in the right zip code because the place that HomeWise gets its data, if I were to scroll down to the bottom here, it's pulling data from all these different reference sources. And you can go and you can check this and you know, it's getting stuff from Harvard, it's getting stuff from um, suppliers who are providing these items. It's kind of all over the place. If you really want to nerd out, and dive into the data, you can come down here to the references to kind of see where they're getting their information from. They're also getting feedback from contractors out in the field. Um, so the point is, 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 this is a great starting point. Your number is most likely somewhere within this range. So let's walk through it, right? Uh, so we got the zip code correct. Uh, we assume that we're not providing the bathroom fan. However, we are providing the labor. And there's always little nitnoid job supplies that come along with any job. I typically 
don't price these out separately. And in, in other words, I don't have a material charge for this. If I were providing the fan, I would have a material charge for it. Um, so in that particular case, I'm probably not going to use this. I'm going to, you know, basically go to Home Depot or Lowe's, find out what they're they're charging for their fans. I'm going to mark it up 20%, and that's going to be the cost of the fan. Uh, but assuming that we're not having a fan in this particular case, um, I'm just going to click on the bathroom fan installation, the supplies. I'm not putting an outlet in. So this tells me a couple of different things right now. First of all, it tells me that the range of the price could be somewhere between $196 or $516. And the time estimate it says 4.3 hours. That's a little bit high. But keep in mind, this is estimating. This is factoring in profit. This is factoring in time to get to jobs and whatnot. So you really have two approaches here. Um, you could figure out what your dollar per, per hour cost is. Let's say I'm $100 an hour. So if I just did $100 an hour, I would be $100 an hour times 4.3 or $430 plus the material fees. Let's just find the spot between 9 and 10, 9 and 11, which is 10. Uh, so I'm 430 plus 10, $440, which is somewhere within this range here. And that's what I'm recommending that you do. And you may be like, man, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. As you get time in doing this business, you realize it's not crazy. It's actually not so bad. But you will be apprehensive as you're first starting off your business to charge a number like that, most likely. So my recommendation would be, especially if you're brand new, you're untested, you're trying to get jobs, you're trying to build your reputation. So I would move somewhere towards the lower ends of this spectrum. And this is a great example because I would not do this job for $196. And I say that because bathroom fans can be super easy or they could they could be 4.3 hours, right? They could be an, ex an excruciating amount of time. It, there's a lot of factors associated with that. Uh, so I would I would go somewhere towards the lower end if you're brand new. If you've been doing this for a while, go somewhere in the middle. If you're like, I hate bathroom fans and go all the way to the top, right? That's how you kind of gauge these things. And that's kind of how you, how you work with it. Now I want to tell you, okay, so let's just say you, you fell on $440, right? We use my example. Uh, we found $440. That's great. And let's say you expect to do these quite a bit. This is one of the cool things about using this data with your CRM, whether it's Marcate or anything else. Since I use Marcate, I'm going to give an example of what I would do with this information in Marcate. So I would come over to my, my Marcate system and I'm going to navigate over to my sales tab here and I'm going to navigate over to estimates. And when I do that, it gives me this option to have items over here. And what this option is, is it allows me to kind of pre-program things that I can put into estimates without having to rewrite it every single time, if you will. So all I've done is I've taken the data from what we were just looking at, the name, uh, installing a bathroom fan, the verbiage associated with this, uh, whatever I want to copy and paste, I, I'm bringing it over here to this item here. So I'm putting bathroom fan installation as the name of the service. I'm coming over here, I'm taking $430, which is a number that I derived based off of my analysis of what I saw in there. Uh, you can you can pull whatever number you want, but I would be somewhere within that range, making sure you have your zip code correct, you have the quantities correct, just double check things. I would copy and paste that description, which is directly copy and pasted from HomeWise. Um, then I would come down and what I like to do, I like to have a reference of where I got this from. I come down here and I post this URL, which is essentially copying and pasting this URL right here into the item. Uh, now I have a kind of a full record of that information there so that whenever I do a bathroom fan install, it's right there. So if we go back to my estimates, Let's say I'm creating a new estimate. So I'm going to come over here, hit my new estimate button. I usually do standard estimates. So I'm going to hit the standard estimate button. And now it's going to you know, give me a blank template, right? But within this blank template is the item summaries down here or the item list. So if I come over here to my item list, now, excuse me, now I have the option of choosing bathroom fan installation. So I choose that bath and fan installation, all the data that we just entered in there is already there. So you can start to see, wow, that just saved me a ton of time. Uh, one, one thing I did not note, uh, whenever you copy and paste anything from anywhere, if you're going to use it in your business, just proofread it, right? right? Make sure that what's in this description box is reflective of your business and, and what you do. 
Um, and if I come down here to the bottom, I could hit the preview button. Uh, oh, it's going to tell me I didn't put a customer in. But if I previewed the button, you'd kind of see what it looks like from a customer's perspective. So that's one example of doing that with a bathroom fan installation. Super simple. I won't get into how to copy and paste them all from uh, HomeWise into Marcake because I think you get it in the, the example that I just gave you. But I do want to come back and just give you a few more examples of other items that you might want to look into. So if we go back to the installation estimate, let's come down here to finish plumbing. And then let's say uh, bathroom faucet, right? I do bathroom faucets quite a bit. Let me drag my camera back down here. So it's the same concept, right? Um, your zip code, is it correct? How many faucets are we talking about? Um, are you providing the faucet or not? In this case, I'm not providing the faucet. Uh, so here's the installation labor. Here's the supplies. Um, this one here, so it pops up sometimes, uh, insulation equipment, so on and so on. So you can toggle these buttons around. You can Again, you can see how things are changing down here in the bottom. You could either use one or two methods, right? You can pick a number between this range or you can multiply how many dollars you wanna make per hour, multiply it by this factor up here, 2.3. If we use the same mentality before, uh, 2.3 times 100 is 230 hours plus let's say uh, $7 for job supplies. Uh, so we got $237 to put that faucet in, which to me is a reasonable price. So I would do the same thing. I would copy um, install bathroom faucet. I would copy the description here and leave it at that, paste that into Marquette, add it as, a, as an item. Now I have it as a drop down whenever somebody asks me for a um, bathroom faucet insulation, I could just go ahead and select it. Um, you may have noticed in some of my previous videos for my instant estimating, I've taken some of this data and I put it into my instant estimate process. So if you haven't seen that video, you can kind of go ahead and check that out. So that's example two of an installation. Now, the final thing I want to show you is besides installation uh, estimates, they also have maintenance costs. Uh, so if you click on the maintenance cost tab or link, very similar. It's just now we're talking about um, the cost of maintaining certain things, right? So you can kind of go through this process here, see what works for you. Let's go ahead and collect um, exterior repair and maintenance. And let's say I am, um, I saw one before, where's the fence? Uh, report, yeah, repair a fence board, right? I do these a lot. So if I come over to repair a fence board, um, Again, right now it's saying six fence boards. Let's just say somebody calls you up, they got two fence boards. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that. Um, I'm gonna click on all of them in this particular case. And I'm gonna come up with a range for this particular job of 107 to 129 to do this kind of work. Um, it really depends on this kind of stuff. I, you know, after I get the pictures and I see what's going on, I may up, up or increase or, or reduce some of this stuff, but you get the sense of what's going on, right? So you can. Do the same thing you can kind of cut and paste at least get a sense of where you are if you were thinking 65 dollars to do that and you come up with these numbers you're like there's no way if you have minimum charges my minimum charge is 125 so, okay 125 falls into that a job like this if it truly is two fence boards i'm going to be in and out of there in 20 to 40 minutes you know depending on what it is so this is a great way if you're brand new to figuring this stuff out how to estimate stuff um, I use this kind of process all the time, whether I'm doing it the way I just showed you or whether I'm doing it in my head, this is what I do. Um, and over time, as you start to build up the services that you offer, you, you're going to build up that catalog of information. Um, so go ahead and, and mess around with HomeWise. Take this stuff down. One other great thing with this is, is that if, if you're expanding and you're, you have somebody else answering the phone for you or somebody else that's dealing with estimates, you could train them to just go to HomeWise, tell them, hey, I want you to pick the middle of the road, right? Uh, I want you to basically go through this thing and ask them the questions. Are you, are you, you know, how many fence boards do you have? What is your zip code? Uh, are you providing any of the materials? And your person on the spot could kind of walk through this stuff and answer it uh, on your behalf for you, as long as you've set up that, those, that discipline or those rules for them. Um, and you could also add the caveat that this is a, a, a quote or an estimate right now. Once the boss, which may be you, uh, reviews it later, numbers may change, right? It gives you a little bit of flexibility. But you can imagine the power of, of doing that kind of stuff. One final tidbit, one little hack I'll throw in there. Um, there may be some questions um, if, if you do have 
a customer service representative doing this for you that they don't know what to ask when it comes to cost to repair a fence. You could go into AI, you can go into chat GP3 and you could say, give me five to 10 questions to ask a potential client when they contact my handyman business to repair a fence. And you'll be amazed at what it comes back with. You can copy and paste that stuff. You can put it into whatever documentation you have for your workforce and they can use that when they're answering the phones or interacting with clients. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Hope it's useful to you. Uh, if it is, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know. I'll be putting links for HomeWise and Marcate down in the video description below. Uh, if you do end up signing up for Marcate, if you use my link, you'll help me out. In addition to that, I have a new handyman swag line that's out. There'll be a description down there in the or a link down in the description for that as well. Uh, it kind of helps me. I don't get paid by YouTube or anything else. Uh, so if, if you are interested in supporting me, that kind of helps out. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time. Thanks.